Hey y'all, welcome back to American Boy Collects American Girl. So I got another outfit showcase for you today, and yes, it's Miss Samantha. I think of all the outfits, this is probably the one I'm having the hardest time having to let go of and put her in something different, because I love this outfit. And as you can see, I have some of the summer accessories that complete the outfit, so it makes it even more fun. So let's just turn around real quick so you can see the full thing. Her lovely curly hair. And I kind of post her like she was walking in a field of flowers. She's got her butterfly net. She's got some pretend butterflies and some fake flowers. And her sailor hat, her whistle, her boots, um, her high button boots, her, and her sailor dress, which is called a midi dress. I always call it a sailor dress because that's what I thought it looked like. Anyway, so now this is kind of a first for me this year, or well, last year. <laughs> Um, for this time putting it on her because um, we always had the boots, the dress, the hat, the whistle. But last summer I was able to get her strap on basket and the little flowers, the fake butterflies, and the uh, butterfly net. So that's all I have from the summer accessories. Oh, I did not actually have to take it back. I also got her sketchbook was with all, also with that. But I couldn't, it wouldn't fit in her um, basket thing. And I... Didn't know really what to do with it, so I didn't put it with her. Um, yeah, so I'm going to showcase this. So this one's probably going to take a little longer to undress because i got to get all this extra accessories off. Um, so I do have um, both Christmas dresses, or two of the versions, the brighter red and the deeper cranberry red. Um, so this one, original Samantha, is going to get the, the deeper cranberry red. And then my, I think, a second Samantha that I um, got back from a doll hospital, I will put in the um the brighter red one i was going to plan to do like i did with molly's video do both molly's in one video but because i have so much to showcase in this outfit and all the accessories i got to take off of samantha i'm probably going to do this as, as two separate samantha uh, dressing videos but anyway okay now the moment of truth <laughs> the part that i was dreading okay so this um let's see if i can remember how to do it now uh, you know, let me let me oop, let me put her that correct on the stand, and let me get rid of this real quick. All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Now I'm gonna take this one part off off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got one off. Just wanted to try to show it um, on the other one. So basically, it's like a belt kind of um, way of putting it on. Let's see if I can get this stirred. All right, so you guys got to push the little point the pointy end piece up so it can come out of there. Just basically like a buckle on a belt, and then you got to undo that. And then you pull this out there. I have to be careful on this one. This side is um, coming in glued. Um, so yeah, that's, so that's how that comes off. So let me show. Don't take your hat off, girl. I'm not ready for the hat yet. Oops. Didn't realize I was going to dump everything out. Okay, let's... Ah, get up here. There we go. <laughs> okay, the technical difficulties of live video. Let's see, I think here yeah, that's still good. All right, let me stick you over here for a minute. Oh, it's up on your feet, girl. All right, there we go. Oh, she seems a bit top heavy. Okay, leave her over there for a minute. All right, so that's what I was saying about. Um, uh this has come unglued here so this should be actually flat there so i gotta figure out what kind of glue i don't know i'm not sure if it's like leather fall leather faux leather um let me know in the comments what you think i should use to glue this back together with um, i don't know if you use a special glue or i could just use like a craft tehi glue um so basically right, so everything is individual so here's the backpack so let me just um I want to seal these up before I lose anything. Give me one second. Okay. Got it back. So I just want to get these done before before I um, lost that one piece that's coming loose. I think it could come off entirely, but I'm not sure. But yeah, that's where I got to glue that back down. Right, let's just showcase what's in here. So actually, let me take everything out first. 
So the cellar was really nice. Um, this is where I also got um, Kirsten's work dress that will be showcased later. And I just sort of add some filler. He was like nice and he put everything in like little plastic baggies. So I just kind of used that as filler so it wasn't like everything wasn't flopping all over the place. So this is basically what, that's just the plastic in there. This is basically what that looks like. This is um, the part you see off the back of Samantha. Then this is the part where you're seeing strapped onto her. This little, like a wicker kind of basket pack, and then it's like a, almost like strapping on a backpack, but with belt um, hook things instead. Um, and this is the little bundle of flowers. Now, I did end up with two of these. Um, one of the bunches, the bunch that actually came with this one, someone had taken like the flowers off. I think they were like going to do it for pretending to do the flower press that she has also. I didn't get that, though, that they didn't have that. Um... So I ended up getting this bunch with a second version of this, but the second version wasn't as good condition. The leather was a little bit worn and everything on it. So this was the better of the bunch. So I thought, you know, I'll keep both sets of flowers. I might sell eventually the other one of the basket pack, but I'm going to keep both sets of flowers. So this will be the bunch that's in her thing, like she's gathering them. Then the other one will be for when she does the flower press. It does have this like black sort of gingham check bow. Uh, let's see, maybe you can see the wrapped around it. That's what her wildflowers would look like. I think they're supposed to be, is it Black Eyed Susans? Or no, are they white? I can't remember. Or daisies, some kind of daisy, I think it is. Anyway, so that's the flowers. Um, now, fun thing about these little butterflies. So here's the little butterfly. It's sort of like, almost like a plastic for this part. And then it's got a different kind of plastic for the center of the piece, the body, and then the antenna. Um... Let's see, I gotta check. Is this one's missing? Oh, this should be the one that has it. Let's see, I don't remember how to take this part. All right. So, fun thing. Let me take the. I just took the back off. There's this little piece on the back that comes off, and there's like this little. See that little hole there? That's where you line up that middle black piece, and then that goes together. So. There's three butterflies that comes with this. Um, so on the other, on one of them, if you noticed, I just stuck one down in. The blue one I stuck inside the um, net. That one is missing the back piece, so that's why I did that. I can just get it out of the net. <laughs> the antenna's kind of getting caught in the net. So let's see. There we go. All right. So that's the blue one. So I showed you the orange one. There's a blue one. And there's also a yellow one. And then see that one's missing the back square piece. It has a little middle piece, but it's missing the part to connect it. But then for this one, I did actually something fun. So if you see, it's actually stuck onto the net. So this one, if you look at the back, I actually have the backing between the net. So I put it between the net. So it looks like there's one that's sort of like flying. I had one, like she caught one in the net. And there was one like sort of sitting. Um, well, actually I had one. The orange one was sitting like in with the flowers. Like it landed on the flowers. And then the yellow one I have attached to the net. Um, I did notice there is like a stain or something. Like on the net. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to wash that or not because it's got the wooden stick with it too. Probably should take this off <laughs> for storage and not leave it on. Saying how to take it off of the net though. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I decided I wanted to show this anyway. So yeah, let me put that back on. So yeah, the other one was lost for the other one. So that one I put in the basket. So that's the yellow one up close. And the back. So again, there was three butterflies. And um, this is the butterfly net. Wooden handle, little piece of metal there, and a metal ring with the net part. So that's very cool. So I never had any of this before. So let me see. Let's, um, I'll lose the butterflies. Put them there <laughs> okay i'll move this all up a little bit all right now let's bring you back in miss samantha now we can showcase the pieces of the outfit 
I actually wanted to just really quickly showcase. Let's see, get your head straight. Really quickly wanted to showcase her outfit without all the paraphernalia for this on it. I did notice it's something about leather over time. I think it likes to shed. So I did have a little bit of that issue on her. That her, um, I want to say, she got some of that on her dress. Again, if I didn't specify these, um, I don't think I said it. I know I said these are the high, to uh, yeah, high toned, um, <laughs> high, uh, button boots. Um, but did you know these little beads are actual working buttons? They're actual buttonholes that you have to take this off. They are a pain. <laughs> I would just let you know that because you have to take them, excuse me, you have to take them off in order to get the boot off. Then you have to like seal them all back up to put them in storage so it stays nice. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is Samantha's sailor dress. Has the dress and the whistle and the hat come together. The boots were sold separately. The tights are part of her meat outfit from the burgundy check outfit. I do have her burgundy check hair ribbon is actually still on, but it's like tucked underneath her hair. So like the reason her hair sort of swooped to the side was because that was the um, the backpack was over here, and it has a nice little stuff. Well, I'll show these up a little closer. All the detail of the dress in a minute when I have it off of her. Um, but yeah, so that's the dress. That's what she looks like in this outfit. This has probably got to be my absolute favorite American Girl outfit from the historical collection from the older um, historical dolls. Because um, I knew that was one I always wanted. So when we got Samantha, I'm like, oh yeah, we definitely had to get the dress and the boots. Um, we didn't get anything else. So that's all. This is how I had her displayed as a teenager. So I didn't have all the other stuff. But it was like so fun to finally get all these accessories and have them on her. So it's like... It was a little <laughs> bittersweet to take her out of this one. Maybe I'll have to do what Blaine does and get an extra doll and just have her in this one all the time. <laughs> I don't know. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits for Samantha. All right. Um. So let's just um. <coughs> excuse me. Dissect this. Actually, you know what? I want to wash my hands real quick after handling all the other stuff. Uh, just give me one minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Just jumping back on here real quick because I just wanted to show you as I was putting all this stuff away how. He had everything like bagged up. Um, he did have a, like a little bit bigger one for the other ones. So that will work these in real nicely. Um, then the little butterfly net and oh, I just show oh, the butterflies. <laughs> yeah, this one kind of got a little messed up, so I gotta fold this over so they stay in there. But yeah, so that's that. I just was gonna showcase. I did find. Um, the other butterfly, uh, yeah, the other um, flowers. So he had them like this, and as you can see, there's like some that are just loose in there. I'm not gonna take it out because it's a mess. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, and there's the ribbon there. But I did want to showcase too while I while I found it. Uh, here is Samantha's my sketchbook. It's got like a little. Ribbon that was tied off on the sides, a little bit of a pain because it does come untied. Um, can't exactly open it all the way. But on that page, it says, I'll read it to you Happy Memories of Teardrop Island, Sketches and Watercolors by Lydia. Copyright Pleasant Company, 1988, all rights reserved. So I believe, if I remember correctly, Lydia was her mother. I haven't read the story in forever, so I don't remember. So I know her parents died, and so. Um, she was an orphan, but her grandmother took care of her and she called her Grand Mary. Um, so this is a family picnic of summer, summer 1897. So she has that. So it might not come out as clear. I don't think. So it's not all filled. So there's a variation of flowers, basket, um, Maybe was that the only one? Maybe that was the only picture. So uh, the next one is just blank, but it has the trees there. I thought there was more than one picture. Oh yeah, there's more here. Next one is Baby Samantha at the Split Rock. So that's that. And then it has kind of thick pages. Then it has another tree. Um, I think it's eventually going to repeat. Uh, picking flowers with father. Let 
that has a bird nest. Then we have Samantha at the Waterfall, 1897. So I think these were, so these are the pictures her mother painted of Samantha and then with her dad. And this page has a little squirrel, so it's like every other page has been done, I guess. Then we have Goodbye to the Island, so that was like the end of their trip. Uh, I don't know if I continue some more. Then she has, so each one has like a different page, like a different emblem in that little circle. So that's a bird. And it goes back to the picnic basket. I'm not sure if it repeats now. Yeah, the trees, the rocks, the other tree, the flower, the bird nest. I don't remember this one though. This one had like a butterfly landed on a flower or something. Uh, the squirrel. And there was this flower. I don't remember that flower before. Um, the rest of these pages are blank. And then the, the bird. Um, then back to the basket, the pine trees, the rocks, and then the done. So then the inside is just the same as the outside, the red. So that's what that looks like for Samantha's sketchbook. So the only things that was missing was the flower press and then that little pillow thing that was like pine needles or something. I can't remember exactly what that was. I think those were the only two. Um, oh, and the magnifying glass. I don't have the magnifying glass. That's the other thing I'm missing too. So that would have been cool to have that actually in her um, in her pack also. So let me just put this away and wash my hands. I really want, <laughs> since I'm working with a white, mostly all white dress, I really want to have clean hands for that. So, and these were kind of a little, still a little dirty from having <laughs> Been probably stored for a while. All right, be right back. So I just wanted to show real quick um, while I had it out before I put the outfit back. But this is the uh, garment bag that the sailor dress came in, and the code was S A O. And I'm believing that that was obviously O is always usually the outfit. S was for Samantha, and I'm pretty sure A was adventure. Um, because SSO would have been Samantha's school outfit, um, so they had to do something else, and it was obviously, um, the summer story was always saves the day, so that'd be like a really intense adventure, so, um, that would be called Samantha's Adventure Outfit, and this is the little pamphlet that shows the hall collection for what I'm missing there, so I'm missing the little, that pillow there with Piney Point, her magnifying glass and the press there above my finger and then also she also had the paint set that goes with the sketchbook with the paint and the little palette and a brush um so yeah wow i actually have almost all of samantha's summer story collection <laughs> that's kind of crazy oh and the other reason why i did both um i forgot to tell you this the other reason why i did both of the baskets to get both versions of the flower one where it was fully together one was taken apart one of them had the sketchbook so that's why and the I think it was the one that had the butterflies and the net didn't have a sketchbook. It was the other one. So that's why I ended up with both of them. So that way I could have the sketchbook too. Um, but inside it's going to tell you about her uh, story. Um, hope I got that so you can read it. If, it's, if I was too quick, you can just pause it on each sheet. And then on the very back... It shows the sailor outfit that the girl could get to wear to match Samantha. Uh, sailor suit. You'll look ship shape in a classic midi exquisitely tailored in white twill. The blouse of this two-piece outfit is trimmed in black with all the traditional nautical motifs. Anchor embossed buttons march down the front of the skirt. Um, the back is laced and tied in a bow. It comes with a brass boys and whistle knotted on a cord to hang around your neck toot toot what a suit uh, sizes 6x to 16. the book samantha saves the day her nature paraphernalia summer amusements high button shoes midi dress with tam and matching sailor suit for you are all part of the american girls collection and are available by catalog Call 1-800-845-0005 for your free copy. Accessory kits are historically accurate reproductions appropriate for children 8 years and older. Copyright 1991 by Pleasant Company. 
and then it has the also the pleasant company logo at the bottom so yeah that's that and she also has um the hanger and then this one had a little note about her dress and uh, thing. It said, Samantha's mini dress with Tam. So the dress is called Midi, and then the hat is called a Tam. I always call it the sailor outfit and hat. <laughs> Samantha's classic midi dress is designed with a blouse and top. You want her to wear it how girls wore this popular style in 1904. When you put the dress on her, be sure to pull the waist of the dress up over her hips. The top should be pulled down and and bloused over the dress waist, which is what you see here, right here. See how it's laid like over the top? So you, so you pull it down a little bit over the skirt there. That's what they're talking about there. Um, Samantha will look ship shape for her summer at Grand Mary's home at Piney Point. And then on the back, they had a sketch of how it's supposed to look on her. Which I think is kind of cool. And then on the sketch of the, right above my finger, they're showing the two arrows and how it's supposed to come down over the skirt. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's put that away. Um, and put these away. All right. So let's see. All right, we'll start with the hat. Get you back over here into the limelight. All right, so the hat just comes off. The hair bow is stuffed underneath. Whoops, yeah, we're gonna do a little spin. I'll show off your nice hair. So it does have, and I think it was the, sure, was it the side of the back? I can't remember how I had it. There is a little bow there. It's got this black trim all around the bottom and then it's like white circle. So that's the hat. Now let's see if I can remember how to do this. All right, we'll move your head over. Let's see, go that way, I guess. Which way do I wanna go? Which side? I always check to see which side has the part that gets stuck on the hair. Okay, we want to go this way. Um, actually, let me just show the back real quick without our hair there. So that's what the full collar looks like on the back. And I forget, do you have to take that off too? Now let's find out. We'll do the Velcro first. So I'm going to sort of undress her as we go. Oh, wait. I can't do that yet. There's one other piece I forgot about. <laughs> hey, I take that off the collar. I was like wondering, what is this like black thing that's sticking out in the way here? Uh, let's see here. So this one you actually, oops, have to actually take it off over her hair. There we go. So this is the original Pleasant Company American Girl whistle. Um, Got a little hole there in the front, solid around the back, little rounded part top, and then it has a stretchy elastic cord to get it over her head. And then it even still has the original gold sticker on the cord. Sorry, <laughs> I should have got something to drink when I went to wash my hands. All right, now I can think I can take it off. Let's see, I'm gonna come off this thing. All right, so that's the Velcro. Oh, I forgot. All right, so there's Velcro. Down the back. It's kind of funny. This Velcro looks like it's gotten yellowed over time. I didn't know Velcro yellowed. All right. And then there's a little snap right there. And there's this bow. I can't, and for life of me, I cannot remember if you can get it off without having to untie this or you get to tie it in a bow every time. Um, then she also has the Velcro on the sleeves. So let's see. Let's get this off of you, girl. I'd be guess to get rid of the stand. All right. Give me a minute. Take this off. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. So I did, I think you're supposed to actually untie this so it comes off a little easier, but I did sort of finagle it so I didn't have to actually um, untie it because it really, it's a really thin, like sort of a slippery kind of uh, ribbon, black ribbon, kind of doesn't like to stay tied. So it's like one of those things, like if you did get tied, I don't really want to mess with it. So yeah, it's like sort of like laced, like a shoe on the back. And you, then the first part you have to do is the snap. Just sort of close it back up so you can see it all. It snaps a little tricky. There you go. Got it lined up. Then we'll get this all lined back up for the Velcro. All right, so this is what it looks like from the back. You got this nice little sort of like square collar on the back. So square in the back, but then it comes around in a triangular to the front. 
then on the on each of the corners you get these little stars then like i said there's the lace on the back and you got the stripes going down the sides i didn't do up those <laughs> i forgot to do these up so these have just little velcro pieces that you're just gonna close up and sort of match those stripes back up so it's got the fun stripes on both of the sleeves this one has one of the nautical symbols not sure what that means i'm not nautical <laughs> then i think besides the stars and that symbol then in the center at the collar it has the anchor and it has like four buttons down here very fun very iconic samantha outfit um all right then oh yeah then these dread things Apologies, Samantha's underwear is a little loose, so it's not going to stay on real well. So basically, let me see if I slide this over a little bit. Now you have to do here, so you can see sort of like there's this, actually let me put her up close. There's a sort of like a where's it, scallop edge right there. That's what you're going to pull off these and then take it off with. So basically every single one of these pops off. I don't know. Oh, my hand's kind of in the way, so you can't really see it. Um, I'll show it before I take it off her foot. But basically, so I just took it off. So it's got, so there's the holes. I am concerned about over time that those holes might end up being stretched out so they don't work. <laughs> but anyway, um, they are a little difficult to get off. There we go. I did actually get it right. But then you have to go back through for storage, or when you put it back on her, you have to like kind of, Kind of pop them back in. You kind of have to play with it too because sometimes it doesn't want to go all the way in. Uh, let me just finish this one. I'll do the other boot off camera. So you don't have to wait for me. <laughs> Where are we at? We are at 26 and I still got to get her dressed. All right, so then, so that's what that looks like when you get it all put back together. All right, I'll be right back and I'll show the boots in a minute. Okay, I am back, so I just wanted to show these boots real quick before I went and dressed her. Um, that's interesting. Underneath it has a little tag that says, Made in the Philippines. Oh, dang it. oh my, did it focus? There you go. Um, there is a little bit of a heel. And then that's what they look from the side, the front, the back. So that's her boots. Um... So yeah, then the rest is just her meat underwear and her meat stockings. Again, the elastic's gotten really shot in this. So I gotta get some new ones for that and then her original meat hair bow. Alright, let me see where did I put it. Alright, so this is her Christmas dress. I'll just pop this out real quick. So this one, okay, this is actually kind of fun. So this is her cranberry Christmas dress. This is the darker version of it, which is the one I think that was more mass produced um and i just found out from jonathan i dream of johnny that there is actually well i knew before that there was three variations of the collar like um so this one's the one that has the flowers with the vines and then there was also one where i think it was just flowers without the vines or was it vines without the flowers i forget one of the two of those and then there's a third one that had hearts um but then there was also, and I had, I, I knew there was like two versions of it, but when I was trying to get the red, the brighter red, because I really loved the brighter red one. When I was trying to get the brighter red one, I'm like, I'm looking at some of the stock photos on like Google images. And I'm like, it almost looks like there's three variations of the red. Like there was, okay, the darker one. And then there was the lighter, brighter red. But then it also looked like there was like a medium shade. And I'm like, that's kind of strange. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really liking, I do like this one though too. Um, there's one though, I feel like it's really dark. But anyway, this one I definitely like. Alright, so we're going to put her into that. Um, it does come with a white hair bow. And then also a pair of white tights. So for this outfit, you use her um, meat shoes that Nellie had borrowed for her uh, Christmas outfit. All right, so let me put this all on her and then we will showcase the outfit. I'll be right back. Just jumping back on real quick before I showcase her in the outfit, but here's the garment bag for Samantha's Christmas dress. Actually take that back. 
That's the wrong garment bag. Let me get the other one. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, I don't have Oh, wait. I just realized Samantha's Christmas dress actually came in a box. Um, this is actually Addie's tartan plaid. Um, yeah, Samantha's Christmas dress came in a box, but I didn't like it that it was all crump like folded up, so I put it in a flat box. Anyway, but what I can show you real quick is this is Samantha's Christmas um, collection. And then inside, it's going to show do the same kind of thing. Here we go. Oops. So there's uh, that page, that page, that page. And then the inside part on the back. The uh, book, Samantha's Surprise, Samantha's Doll, Real Gingerbread House, Christmas Music Box, and Cranberry Party Dress are all part of the American Girls Collection and are available by catalog. Uh, Middleton, Wisconsin was that time period. This is copyrighted in 1991 for the little, bu the little booklet. So, yeah. Let's see Okay, yeah, I think the one that's pictured here is the lace collar with just the flowers. Whereas the one I have is going to actually show the, um, the vines too. I can even, I'll be right back with her. All right, I'm back. Okay, so that was a little longer video than I intended it to be, but I had so much to show you. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do the second Samantha and the other dress on a separate video. So we have three videos for the Victorian era, because uh, we're already up to 32 minutes almost. Um, so just to give you a heads up, I didn't take out her meat bow. I usually try to keep those in, so I kind of tried to hide it behind her, so like the tails are sort of tucked behind that chunk of hair. So that's what she looks like from the back. And then we'll just give you the little turnaround. And this is Samantha's dress. So I was having a major hard time trying to get the bow tied on her hair. Um, and so I tried something, I think it was I Dream of Johnny that I heard this from. Um, but then interestingly also, I first actually saw it in real life when I got Marie Grace's party outfit. Um, the one that's green and purple. They actually had, because I was trying to figure out, oh crap, I don't want to mess up her knee hairstyle, but they also put the purple bow in it. And I was trying to figure out how do I get that untied without wrecking it. But then as I'm looking at it, I'm like, what's this black thing? <laughs> I think it was black, or maybe it was silver, I don't know, whatever the color was. And then all of a sudden I realized, oh wait, they tied the bow off onto a bobby pin. And it was funny, right after that, I heard Jonathan say the same thing on his channel, at I, dream, I dream of Johnny com, or excuse me, I dream of Johnny, that, well the website is the other one, but I dream of Johnny. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, what do you think of Samantha's dress? I will definitely do a recap with both samantha and miss nelly in the backdrop here um a little later and off um i want to do the other christmas dress too so um yeah let me know what you think of samantha's christmas dress in the comments do you have one of the versions of her dress do you have all of the versions of her dress um and which color variation do you like do you like the deeper color or do you like the lighter brighter color and did you have a favorite of the collar also? Um, so yeah, so I just kind of, I forgot with the, with the bow, I just kind of stuck it down in the top. So it's actually a little bit bigger than normal. <laughs> but it actually turned out better than I thought it was going to be. Because I could not get it to like go centered when I tried to tie it on the hair. So it was like really driving me nuts. Anywho, um, but I don't want this video to get too much longer. and We're already at 34. So you guys know how to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. You guys all have a great day.